Hello everyone. I wanted to make a video and talk about some of the things that have been happening because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, so first of all, Magic Fests have more or less been canceled uh, and Channel Fireball events, the coordinator for all the Magic Fests has gone to a online, a Magic Fest online program we can see here. Um, so what it is, is there are qualifiers, uh, four per day it looks like, and then on the weekends there are championship events. So, um, and you can see there's deck lists and everything. So what they've done is it's a $25 entry fee to enter the event, and they've actually created affiliate codes for local stores to play. So if we go to this event here and we go to register for it, you can see you fill everything out. Um, and there's a spot that says support your local game store by entering their code. So the code for the store is Liberty Coin Service. That's the actual name of the store. Uh, we don't actually do business as Liberty MTG. That's just my channel. Um, so if you want to support the store and you're registering for any of these events, you know, consider adding our affiliate code there. Um, they've also got Magic Fest in a box, which is over here. And if you go to that page, um, you can see there's different editions and basically has different contents in each of the packages. Uh, and this is their way of selling the promos and selling the playmats that are Magic Fest exclusive. So if you wanted to sign up for one of these and order one, again, down here, there is a support your local game store by entering their code. So you could enter Liberty Coin Service as the code. And that will actually give a 10% kickback on either the Magic Fest in a box or the registration. Uh, give that kickback to the store. So that is one way you can support your local stores. Um, of course, I'm asking you to put my code in, but you don't necessarily have to use my code. You can use someone else's, uh, your local store, for example. So then if we go to the Wizards Play Network website, this is their most recent article. I believe it was posted today. Um, th it's Friday. Uh, so they've basically suspended all in-store play in North America, Europe, and Latin America until May 10th, at least May 10th. Um, so there's a lot of changes that have happened pretty rapidly. Uh, the biggest one is that the Ikoria release and pre-release has been moved to May 15th for these regions. Now, it is going to vary for the Asian regions, um, so you have to check those if you, you live in the region over there. Uh, so basically, the pre-release and release will be the same time on May 15th. Uh, I believe that the launch day for Arena and Magic Online will be the same. That's not changing. So it's going to make the paper pre-release a little weird because people have been playing with the cards for a month at that point. Spoilers is still starting next week, uh, so that's not going to change. Uh, so there are some changes for the stores to make things a little easier on the stores um, because if we're not open for tabletop events, um, it's kind of hard to sell products. So they're allowing us to sell challenger decks now if, if we can. Um, so like in Michigan where we are, we're on a non-essential lockdown, which basically means uh, if you're not essential to preserving or saving lives, don't be open. Uh, so game stores aren't really essential in that. Uh, we do have a kind of an exception for our store because we're primarily a, a coin store. So we buy and sell things from people. So we're providing the community with cash. Um, so we are considered essential almost as a, as a bank in effect. Um, so they're allowing stores to sell challenger decks as soon as possible. So we don't have to wait until launch day. So those probably will be flooding the markets like on eBay or Amazon or, or websites um, pretty soon because I think they actually get shipped out pretty soon. Uh, like I said, the tabletop launch is now May 15th. Pre-release, they are allowing um, stores to sell kits and allow people to take them home to play with. Um, so that's a little bit different. Uh, let's see here. Oh, this is a big one. So obviously, if stores are going to be closed for potentially two months uh, and not having people coming into the store, it's going to be really hard for a lot of stores to keep paying their bills. Uh, so they're actually going above and beyond, and they're selling or sending stores a mystery booster allocation. So we don't know the specifics as to like how many boosters are being sent to stores, but they are being sent to us at no cost. Um, and I I, I want to emphasize something here because there's probably going to be some stores that close because of this. Um, it it's not a very high profit margin business, and uh, Wizards is going above and beyond, like I said, to send us this stuff at no cost. And they, they might have a cost on freight or something, um, but the boosters are free. Please don't give your local store grief. <laughs> um, and a lot of people come in and say, well, 
you only paid 70 bucks. I know that's the cost. So why are you selling it for 140 or whatever? Um, don't be that person. Allow them to have a fair price um, and, and don't say, I know these cost you nothing, so you should sell them cheap. Because uh, stores just need the revenue. They need to stay open. And if you want to play at the store, you should probably support the store. Uh, that's my small rant for this video. Anyways, moving on. Transformers TCG, we don't do anything with that, so it's not relevant here. Um, like I said, at home pre-release, you can take your kits home and play there if you don't want to stay in the store. Um, metrics, so this is more of a store side thing, but all of the WPN metrics for like uh, activated players, engaged players, uh, number of tickets, those are basically locked. Um, so they're going to use the February 15th numbers on those, and that really just comes into um, into play when you're like getting promo packs or pre-release product um, that those metrics are used to determine how much you get. Um, another big thing that's a change says we can use promo packs as sales incentive and at-home play reward. So don't be surprised if stores start saying, you know, booster boxes now come with a promo pack or um, one thing we haven't talked about down here a little ways. Sorry, I pointed at the screen down here. Friday Magic at home, uh, stores might try, try to um, coordinate a event on Discord or something through Magic Arena and offer prizes that way. That's totally fine right now. Normal circumstances, it wouldn't be, but right now it is. Um, and they're also allowing us to ship buy a box promos with online orders. And that's different. They have not allowed that in the past. Uh, so I, I did touch on it. Friday Night Magic at home. Uh, the main thing they're doing on Arena is they're creating a Magic at home or Friday Night Magic at home event. And participating in that will get you um, sleeves, a code for sleeves. Uh, so you're just supposed to screenshot that, send it to your local store, and they'll provide you with a code. Uh, the number of codes is limited. I think I got 30 or 40 per week. Um, so don't be surprised if the stores run out. Uh, at home pre-release we talked about. Um, promo product allocation adjustments. Like I said, they're, they're not going to hold the metrics for the months were closed against us. Um, so that's good. Uh, so that's really about it um, that I wanted to talk about today. The in-store play is going to be a little weird for the channel because obviously I've, I've been wanting to keep it um, pure to paper magic, and that's probably not going to really be an option. Um, I could try to make 1v1 videos with some of the people, um, but it's just not responsible to have people coming into the store or you know, going over to someone's house to make videos. So we're probably going to try to push out some Magic Arena content, whether it's deck techs, 1v1. Um, and, a, and a lot of stores have been talking about hosting F&M um, through Discord on Magic Arena. So we might try to do something like that. And I don't really have a plan for recording those videos, um, but we might work on that. Don't know. Uh, so anyways, I guess that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you want to use the store's affiliate code for any Channel Fireball events, Liberty Coin Service is the code, and thanks for watching.